Hi, my name is Adele Cyperston, and in today's video, I'm going to show you some of my favorite books and resources that I use, and hopefully they might help you um, to inspire you and help you do um, color and just help you in your art painting. So let's get started. I'm going to go around the table. This is the back of a paper palette that I use. Whoops. And it's by Jack Richardson. And this is a paper palette that's a gray one. And if you get the gray ones on the back of the cover, they have this on every single one of them. It has a value chart. It has the complementary colors. It tells you the complementary colors here. It tells you the primaries, it goes into a bunch of detail, and it's just wonderful. So I actually keep these. Um, and if you buy the white one, they have a palette with this white and a palette that's gray. Only the gray one has this. So make sure you want to get the gray. Okay, I use these. This is a series of doodle books. And they are by Dawn Sokol. And I love these because just the name doodle, just the word doodle means that shows you that it's fun. It should be lighthearted. And not only that, but I look through here and get ideas for things. Like I love this page with the writing and the old paper. Um, so it gives me ideas just for variety, but I also, it helps keep me just in a, a frame of mind of maybe not serious, but just playful and fun. So she's got three of these and I just bought all three and I use them all the time just to look through and inspire me. This one is a brand new book out by a woman, a wonderful artist and a psychiatrist. It just came out this year, just a few months ago, Nancy Hillis. It's called The Artist's Journey and it is not a how-to art book, but it is an art book about mentally how to get through the parts that are hard and difficult of your paint painting. For instance, um, this has to do with, she talks a lot about one of the most, the things that stood out to me beyond um, more than any other book that I've read. I have a lot of how-to books, but this one talks about the mental process of going through the obstacle of when you hit the part in your painting that's called the ugly paintings. And let me briefly read this quote that she says, which is, which I love. She says, some paintings are going to seem ugly and chaotic. I believe these are extremely valuable works. In fact, these ugly ducklings are more often the nascent forms of emerging work, work that's trying to be birthed, but that at first appears awkward and uneasy. So she talks about how to appreciate and welcome and enjoy and love the ugly paintings. So this is a must read. It's brand new. She's a wonderful writer. Um, this is a color chart. There are tons of different color charts on the market, but this is one I use all the time and it gives the colors of so many different, so many of the different colors. It gives their name and in, in, um, it shows you what the value is. This is the value in black and then the lighter value and the darker value. And, um, as you know, hopefully, you know, the, the value of paintings is one of the most important things to make your painting good and better. So this really helps you. For instance, if you want to say, oh, I'm working in yellow and you're using this color. Well, this is how you get the lighter painting. This is what you get for the darker painting. I mean, the value, the lighter value and the darker value. And it names all these colors. So I love this. This is a wonderful book that I happened upon just by accident. And it has a whole page of just a whole book is filled with pages that you can fill in. That is that you can put color charts. You mix a color, put it in one of these, and you write down what you use to mix the color. I love this book. And you can tear out each one of the pages. It's filled with lots of pages. The next thing is this fabulous color tool. This is called the Ultimate 3-in-1 Color Tool. And it gives you tons, you just can, um, tons of um, ideas of, it goes through all the colors um, the reds, the blues, the purples, the greens, the yellows, etc. And it breaks it down. It tells you the, in detail how much red is used, how much black is used, how much gray, you know, how to mix the color. And again, values dark, lighter or darker on each one of these. 
It's fabulous. So this is a huge, huge help. This is like my Bible of colors. This I use all the time. I even um, wrote little sections of it to remind me. I use this as an inspiration for when I need a color. Say I'm looking for um, neutral colors, these colors. And then it shows you some different ones that what look like if you added um, a color like this to it, what it looks like. And here is like something that shows you if you want a pop of something different to just go in accent color, it gives you some, some ideas. So I look through this, I've used it a lot as you can tell, but from all the different, um, all the different colors, blues, purples, greens. I love this. I love this. I have two or three copies of it. Well, I think that's it for all the tools and the resources. There are lots more out there, but I just wanted to share with you the ones that are, uh, that I use that are special to me.